She also told police Cunningham wanted her to work as a prostitute and had tried to talk her to Los Angeles County against her will. Police said they are trying to determine if Cunningham may have been using the girl to entice Marine Cruz. Gee, I wonder. He's in a car with two with an 18 and a 19 year old who he's recruiting for the Marines with the girl. She tells them that all three of them had sex with her. I wonder if he's using her to recruit other Marines. You know, I had to watch this uh this video somebody sent me. It's apparently fake, but it's you know this guy who's supposedly Iraqi war veteran and he comes back and he talks about how great it was raping this young girl and she ended up killing herself. You know, whether that's real or not, the fact that people get raped in those prisons and they're often children. Listen, I don't want to hear that they're teenagers and they can take it. No, they're children. 15 years old, 14 years old, 13 year old, they're children. And they're being raped at Abu Ghraib, okay? They're being raped at Guantanamo Bay. That's the reality. That's what these pictures and videotapes show that they don't want to tell you about. 2004, that was confirmed by Seymour Hersh and others. We actually had members of Senate come out of the hearings and say what they saw was disgusting and deplorable, and they hope that it never sees the light of day in the American public. Now, some of these pictures were published overseas. And let me just tell you, they are beyond disturbing. Someone tried to send me uh, these pictures of these Abu Ghraib girls, and they said, oh, these are the hardcore photos. I've got some of these hardcore photos from 2004. I just don't want to put them on this. It's literally... You know, three uh, military guys at a time raping women. It, it's, you know, you see all that blood and those dogs. Why don't you see the guy with three quarters of his face taken out? Okay, why don't you see the guy that's just lying there with his chest, you know, pulled open? It's, it's just unbelievable. These aren't interrogation techniques. These are people getting off on malicious torture. These are people who are literally summoning just, just evil. Evil, good and evil exists, folks. I know a lot of people like to say it's just a born behavior and we're all trained. No, good and evil at some level do exist. You should know inherently you should not be raping a child. You shouldn't be raping anybody. But a child, I mean, how sick do you have to be in the head? And how sick do you have to be in the head to try to, you know, say that that's okay or justify that type of behavior? Meanwhile, you know, Barack Obama goes over to the Middle East and he says, oh, I know there are people that... uh Question and justify the attacks of 9-11, as if the two are the same thing, question and justify the attacks. No, if you're questioning it, you want to know what really happened. You have all this evidence presented in films like Loose Change and Fabled Enemies. That's legitimate. Trying to justify the official version that, you know, Islamic militants came in and killed all these innocent people. That's not legitimate. And he says, you just got to get over it because it's a fact. Al-Qaeda attacked us. They killed 3,000 people. This is something we have to deal with. We can't hear your questions. I'm Barack Obama, president of the world, and you'll love me. And by the way, in this Earth 2100, he is sometime down the road, sometime around 2040. I mean, he would have to be an old man, but you hear his voice come over the, the loudspeaker as he's talking to the people. So apparently Barack Obama in the future is going to have some, you know, lord-like position. Maybe he'll be the secretary general of the U.N. And they actually, in, in, this, uh, in these clips that are coming up, they actually drill, they drill 2015 and climate change and who's the secretary general well it's one of the obama appointees and we're going to get into that on the other side next five minutes i'm going to take phone calls from everybody then we're going to go to some of this earth 2100 we're going to do some comments and then i want to take your call specifically on either the climate change agenda or this film i mean this film goes broad it's not just climate change it's not just quarantines it's not just mass exterminations it's not just plagues it's total global government propaganda promoting globalism throughout. And even when we come together, even when we treat Mother Earth right, it's too late. We've destroyed it. We're bad. Humans need to go. It's the InfoWarrior with Jason Burmas back after this. PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com. We are back. It's the InfoWarrior. I want to uh, give a shout out to whoever uploaded Earth 2100 because when they uploaded to the internet it actually had a Prison Planet logo on the uh, back or that was the uh, tagline, the tag name and then they posted over at a popular torrent site, rlslog.net and uh, actually thanked Alex Jones and myself so big ups to you guys, thank you so much uh, I really needed this torrent and uh, it helped out, I, I watched this thing with my jaw on the floor jaw on the floor, could not believe I mean if you believe this thing, and remember, they always say, oh, it's a possibility. Within 10 years, the country's over. It's all over. I mean, everything's ending. Oh, strife and droughts and people are going to die and the, the, the earth can't be saved. And it's all because of our addiction to oil and it's promoting peak oil and all this garbage. Yuck. Disgusting.
Deplorable. Let's go to Mark in Oregon. Mark, you're on line. Uh, hello, Jason, and good evening to you. Jason, you know, I see the detail and the pervasive preparations for martial law, the planned and soon coming complete destruction of the U.S. economy, and as Janet Napolitano, Homeland Security Chief, said, the much worse flu p pandemic, which will arrive in about three months, is not a maybe, but it, she said, will. There was no doubt about it. I see all this as full and undoubtable evidence that unless a new world order tyranny is brought to a very rapid halt, we're going to experience as a nation and as a world the complete end of any freedom and liberty which is presently left to the people of the world. This loss of all freedom and liberty, of course, will include the info war in its entirety. Everything you and many other worthy truth tellers have exposed in the area of the end of the end game, Jason, is very much on schedule to occur in about three months, three months, okay? Mm -hmm. With the advent of martial law and massive sickness and death from poison and forced vaccinations. We've got to come to this reality that we're in a very short time frame here in all great probability and keep it at the uppermost part of everything that we say and everything that we do because time is just about run out, Jason. I really like your comment. Well, you know what? I'm waiting to hear whether uh, or not the uh, WHO goes to pandemic level six. They keep saying they're going to. That Bloomberg article said we have 10 days. Now, uh, if you believe them, we have about six. If they do declare this pandemic and we do start seeing troops on the street, even if it's just along the borders or amassing, I, I think that you might be correct. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I have the answer to that situation. All I can do is warn people of what's coming, read articles like this one, and let people know not to take the vaccination, to stand up against the government if this does occur. I, I tend to think that they want to wait it out even more because I don't think they're ready to have the type of infrastructure that they need. They've built the government agencies. They have the buildings. Now they need the people. And I think that's why you're seeing, you know, City Year coming up, AmeriCorps being in surge with money. I think that they would much rather, much rather you know, string this along for another few years, kill the economy in that length of time even further, then bring in their North American Union. And as that happens, and they do have the infrastructure in DHS and the NSA to really surveil people manually, no, you know, not just run it through a computer system, have people literally operating the drones and literally, you know, the Stasi force and going to pick people up as civilian police, then we could see that. But I, I might be wrong. I've, I've never been 100% right about anything, and I, I truly hope that your vision isn't the one that comes true because I yeah I, I hope so I mean three months what am I going to do I, I'm I'm in a lease for another six man I, I know well, that sounds petty but I I just I don't see it going down like that but then again people could get very incensed if the economy crashes even further and more people lose their homes and I think that's why they're in a race this summer to have NLE 09 where it's Mexico, Canada, the United States, the UK, and Australia together again for the very first time in a drill that's unprecedented that will have makeshift FEMA centers that will kind of harmonize all this spying going on with every local, federal, and even tribal government that they can infiltrate. And they intend to infiltrate all of them in FEMA Region 6. I thank you for the call, Mark. Let's go to Matt in California. Matt, you're on the line. How you doing, Jason? Good. Um, first off, I'd like to bring up that there was a... Uh a uh, Ron Paul interview on the Huffington Post by a woman you can search Kathleen Wells. Okay. And and you know I look down at the comments and I'm you know I can tell that the Obama facade is breaking mm -hmm. uh, completely. I mean these I, I I looked at. Uh, well, let me like, let me hold you over. And by the way, okay, uh, sure. apparently on Scarborough Country or Morning Joe, I'm not sure which show it was, someone called in. And just praising the Obama deception and Alex Jones. If anybody out there caught it on the DVR, we could use it, post it on YouTube. We'll be playing it tomorrow. But it shows we can have breakthroughs. We, have, we can have people call the mainstream media and tell the truth. We can reach more people. Back after this, it's the Info Warrior.